What's going on guys? Me, David here back for another shave. And today's the day. You already seen the title of this video. Obviously, if you've clicked on it, today's going to be my full-on review of the Christopher Bradley Carve Razor. Now, here's my story. This is going to be my story of the full experience with Carve. So, a few weeks back, I ordered a Carve Razor. I ordered a handle, which, first off, let me get off saying, but I love their ordering options. I love how they have different top caps. Obviously, I love all the options that they have for the base plates. And I love, 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 love the fact that they have a bunch of different options for the length of the handle. My personal preference is very specific. I like my handles to be 3.25 inches. So that's three and a quarter inch. That's my favorite one. That's what my Rockwell, my Rockwell 6S has. That's the size of the handle that I have for my above the tie uh, R2, the open cone one. You guys have seen. That's my favorite size. I don't mind three inch handles, you know, like I, um, Gillette Fat Boy. That's a three inch handle. Three inches is fine, but three and a quarter is my sweet spot. And there's not even a question. It's 100%. I love that handle size. <laughs> So the amount of options and customization that they have when you go order one of the razors is phenomenal. Love that. That, that is a great, great, great thing. So I ordered my, my top cap, not the wide body. Personally, I think the wide body top cap is a little ugly, but I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like the blade taps to be exposed. So I understand why they have it. I think it's kind of ugly. One, I ordered my D d level uh base plate i talked to jack so i talked to jack at the virtual groom room um he works for christopher bradley carve razors and um i asked him i've seen that you use the rocco 6s in one of your videos my favorite plate is the five plate now rockwell is a little bit on the mild side even at the higher settings it's not the most extreme of extreme in terms of aggressiveness so I asked him, what do you think would best uh, replicate uh, my experience from the Rockwell uh, the five plate? He said, I recommend the D. So I, I ordered the D plate. Enough said. I actually trust Jack's opinion. He's used some of the best gear in the industry. If you haven't seen his channel, check him out. The Virtual Groom Room. Um, he is one of the few shavers that I watch on a daily basis or he may not always put post daily, but anytime he posts a video, I do watch his videos. So go check him out the virtual groom room. So ordered that, ordered my three and a quarter inch handle, yada, yada, yada. Boom. Week later, it gets here. It's from Canada, so it takes a little bit of time. I understand. I'm cool with that. Well, here's where we get the first little bit of a problem. They sent me the razor. I open it up. It is not the one that I ordered. The handle's longer. It had the wide body base plate. It had a B. It had, a B. Um, it had a, the wide body top cap and it had the B base plate. So it couldn't have been uh, any more different than what I ordered. Go on to my Instagram because that's usually how I talk to Jack. And bam, already waiting for me was a message from Jack saying, hey, we made a mistake. We believe it's your razor that, that, that's wrong. I'm like, Oh shit, why didn't you have to contact him? That's great. He's like, well, we're going to have another one out for you. The one that you ordered tomorrow. I'm like, all right. You know, it's a little inconvenient. Yes. But to say that they, that they fucking caught it right away and they already have another one out. Perfect. Perfect. Additionally, he said, you know what? Keep the one we sent you. You know, I know it's inconvenient. We don't want to have you. We don't want to make you have to send that shit back. Keep it. And also for the inconvenience, we're going to send you a C base plate as well. So here's the old one right here. Here's the one that was incorrect. It has the B base plate. You guys seen me use it in a video the other day and it was too mild for my liking. So thank God that's not the one that I additionally ordered. Additionally, he did send me a C base plate. So along with using the D today, uh, probably in one of my next shaves soon, I'll be using the C. And this one's probably gonna go to a giveaway. Um, that little bit of a mistake, that little bit of a hiccup, um, you know, you guys are gonna benefit from it. So, really cool. So now, let's break down the construction of the So, waited, waited, waited. Bam. End of the week. The, uh, end of the week that he said it will be here. Sure enough, it arrived perfectly on time. And it's a gorgeous razor. 
I absolutely love the look of this razor. And then Jack showed me pictures of how it patinas. Just brass patinas. I actually am a fan of brass. Um, I also vape. I have some mechanical mods that are brass that I love the way they patina. But there it is. That is with the original top cap. I I like how it looks. That little bit of a cutout. I like the blade test poking out on this particular razor. I'm going to actually disassemble this so I can show you some of the features that I really like. Um, this razor is beautiful. It is one of the most attractive razors I, I think in the business. Just my opinion. You can take that for what you want. Um, you can agree, disagree, whatever. We'll start from the beginning. First off, the packaging. Is this awful packaging? No. I like the cutouts. Everything fits in nice. This insert's nice. But personally, for something that's this attractive, I would spend five to ten more dollars. And this is a fucking excellently priced razor. Something like $75. Dirt cheap for this type of quality work. These materials, fantastic. I would gladly spend five, ten dollars more for nicer packaging than this. Uh, let me grab this. This is already beat up. It's been around a while. But this is the Rockwell Success. So, yeah, sorry. Again, this has been beat up. It's been in my restaurant for years now. But look, it has the, it's the black cardboard. It has the actual printing on the box. Um, it's just, it's, it's attractive packaging. It is attractive packaging. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I like this. I would gladly spend five to ten more dollars. Give me a plastic container, something like this. That same foam insert. Keep that same foam insert. The foam insert's perfect. This out here, though, I just think that the razor deserves a little bit, deserves a little bit more respect than just this cardboard box with a sticker. Is that a big deal? No. But again, if you're going to go with the premium look, the premium quality, go all the way with it. And I think you could probably find yourself a tin or a plastic container within that $5 to $10 range. And I would happily pay 5 to 10 bucks more for nicer packaging, nicer presentation. I just think that... I really think it deserves it. So even again, even if you keep the cardboard, something a little bit nicer, that's the black cardboard, has the printing on the box, not just the sticker. I know they want to keep it inexpensive, but I think at $5 more, it's still really inexpensive. And it just shows a little bit more care and attention to detail. My opinion could be in the minority of that. Most of you, might, some of you might want to spend, uh, I mean, save that extra five to $10. I personally think it'd be worth. If you're going to make the investment, go all the way with it. So boom. Then we'll go into the construction. Machine work. The base plate, flawless. Flawless, flawless, flawless. Now, I've already been fondling this a little bit, so my oils have already started some of the patina, patina processes. But the machining on this razor is... Am I able to get it? There we go. The machine work on this base plate is phenomenal. Love it. Now, with the top caps, you're always going to see a little... It's going to be a little bit harder to do. Because you got all these nubs and nipples and shit popping out of it. But, fantastic. Again, love the shaping. All the edges are rounded off. There's no sharp things. There's nothing you're going to cut yourself in terms of the machine left over. And then the handle, the gripping. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. It's comfortable. Again, there's no, nothing sharp. I'm rubbing it. I'm not going to fucking rub my fingers raw. Well, eventually I probably would. But it's just, it's, just it's, it's a very good, smart design. One of the design elements that I really like is the blade. These things that lock in the blade, they go all the way through the top cap. You can see them all the way down through there. And it locks in all the way. I like those extended uh, uh, shits for, for the blade. It really makes sure that the blade chatter is to a minimum. They're going to have a lot of wiggle room. It's not going to play around. It's going to be locked in nice and tight. Nice little thing that they send in the package. They have the handle to screw on with the washer on there. Just so that the, the finish is protected in, in transport. Take that off when you're using it. And it's put together great. I'm going to roll some pictures of some close-ups of the very first razor that I got. And also this one, the correct one that I had. One thing that I want you to take note in is the 
standard this came with. Okay, so now that you guys seen those pictures, the stand, a brilliant, brilliant element that they added to the stand of this razor, that little plastic insert inside the stand. Most stands that you see, and I haven't seen all stands that, that are uh, out on the market, but most stands that you see are just going to be all metal machined work, nothing else. So what you have when you're putting this in the stand, metal on metal contact. So after time, you're going to start seeing some wear and tear on your handle. That's presentation. That's looks. When you're spending the type of money you are on premium razors, you have all this beautiful machine work. Why beat up the handle? That plastic insert inside the stand is going to save the finish of the handle and just keep it looking damn near perfect for much, much longer. Now, this is probably durable to last your whole life regardless, but why not keep it as pretty as possible? Very simple design element. Add that plastic, could be Delrin, could it be just a, who, who knows what type of plastic that is. But it's a very simple thing to add in there that I think really enhances the performance of a stand. And it may be stupid to think of the performance of the stand, but again, you're buying premium stuff. You want premium performance. And that attention to detail makes you want to spend more money with a company. Love that. It's, it's genius. And, and you wouldn't think it'd be that damn hard to see that. But I've never seen it before. Now, there could be others out there. Again, I don't know. But I think it's brilliant. So, <sighs> aesthetically, just a gorgeous razor. I love it. Those are some of the design elements I appreciate. Um, but now, of course, it could all look fantastic. The charcoal good, goods razor. Um, some people love that razor. I personally hated it. It didn't shave special to me. It just, it felt, really, really legitimately felt like a Merker 34C. And if I'm spending $200 on it, I don't want it to shave exactly like a marker. Now, if that's your favorite razor, then you may like that thought. Me you know. So, that's the real thing. So, we're going to finally get into the shave. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video because of this little intro part. I don't normally do that, but I think now that's one of the changes I'm going to make to, uh, to the channel. Is when I'm reviewing a new product like a razor. Something that it costs some money to get. Um, I think I'm going to pay it the respect and give a little bit more detail of an actual review. Soaps, I use them. I like them. I don't. That's pretty much what you're going to get. This one, I think it deserves a little bit more because you guys are looking to us YouTubers um, as guides to what you guys should be buying. So I think I owe you guys that and the raise of the respect and um, give it a little bit more in detail. So today I'm going to be using iColoniali. In my opinion, one of the absolute best mass produced uh, hard puck soaps ever on the market. They no longer make it. Which is a crying shame. It really, it really saddens me that it isn't available anymore. They do have the shave cream, which I, I hear is pretty nice. But this hard puck is fantastic. My my original puck of this was a gift from Ray Pope. A good friend of mine. Love that guy. When I did my trip out to Chicago for the first Chicago meetup. A very special time for me. And I had to pair it with the gift that was from Busta. Busta was the reason why I ended up in Chicago. He had some frequent frequent flyer miles. And he actually flew me out to Chicago. I stayed with him in the hotel. Um, he's the only reason why I was able to make it out there. And then this gift from Ray Pope. And just the whole vibe that Ray Pope gave, man. It was just an absolute blessing out there. Ray was very attentive to all of us. Made sure we had a good time. And he really came through. Really, really came through. And then after the fact, I love this soap so much that I actually picked up a few pucks from Rudd's. Rudd's had a couple pucks left over. He said he wasn't really going to use them. And he sent them over. So much appreciated. So I was about two-thirds of the way done with the original puck. I just graded a full puck of the extras that I had into that yesterday in preparation for the shave. All this extra proto ladder, make it all nice. And this is just my opinion, but I would use iColoniali, their performance over to back or um, or the fat, which is wool fat. Just my opinion. 
Um, I just love how it works. So, going to a face leather. Yes, you guys are seeing a lot more use of synthetic brushes here in, in my videos. I still prefer Badger, but Badger being as expensive as it is, can't really afford to go out and get it, man. And if I'm going to keep this channel active, I have to be able to, I have to buy stuff that I could afford. You guys know I don't buy razors very often, man. So I really have high hopes for this carve. I really hope I love it. I've been wanting a new DE razor in the den for a while. And I finally pulled the trigger on this one after I sold a, a straight razor to uh, Chris Bailey. Yeah. Um, and I promised you guys a video. A surprise video. Not a surprise, but a video. Um. And the video was recorded. I might as well tell you guys now. It was a video for uh, from Rocio. Um, first video she's done in a long time. And frankly, it was just a hot mess. Uh, a lot of the time she was moved out of the frame of the camera and stuff. So we can't really air that one. We did it real late. She was a little tired from the day. And it just showed. The quality of the video was pretty awful. Um, so we're probably going to do one over the weekend when she's not working. It will come. I promise you I'm going to hold her to that promise. But the, the, the one that we filmed was just so bad. Um, I think it was a poor representation of herself and just our channel in general. So let's get right into it. Hmm. <laughs> Incredibly smooth. Definitely more efficient than the other one. I still feel very little bit of the blade. Which I'm not the hugest fan of, but I understand that's what they're going for. I feel like there's still quite a bit of hair left over. So, again, it is about beard reduction. So, the cutting angle, I get it much easier on the cheeks. Because this razor is designed so much to not feel the head, the, the blade so much. It gets a little bit more challenging down here on the neck. I don't hear the blade much. I'll tell you right now, it's cutting and it's maybe one of the smoothest shavers I've ever felt. Does this level fit my my preferences? I don't believe so, as of yet. It is gonna take some time to get used to this angle because it is a little bit different. It is a little bit different than uh, your run of the mill razors. You don't feel the blade. But I can tell as I use it more, I'm going to get better with it. Because already, this part of my neck and this part of the neck, I did a better job shaving this side than I did this side. So, this is just one of those razors that you have to learn how to use. Okay, I think I got it. So, this one, you have to use a more drastic angle. So, there's a lot of razors that you can shave with just a little bit of, of a hitch to it. This one I feel like you have to do a little bit more of an aggressive angle. At least that's what I'm feeling on this bottom part right here. 
Oh yeah. Chris Brady likes the E plate. I think that a E plate might be the next one I buy. I think the plates are about 35 bucks, maybe less, could be wrong. Um, I think I might buy that. Oh yeah. All right, so I, I think I got this angle down now. Huge difference in the feel. Oh yeah. Oh, very nice. <laughs> that, that, shit. That against the green pass felt fucking good. That, that, that's nice. Yeah, I got it now. Ooh wee. One of the smoothest shavers I've ever used. In terms of smoothness, this is up there with like the Wolfman razors and stuff. I thought the Wolfman razors were extremely smooth. Oh yeah. Now that I know the, know the angle though, I am, I am gonna use that C razor. And with the C, since it's gonna be more mild than this one, I might actually use it next day. So you guys might get another video tomorrow. Usually don't do uh, videos back to back. Oh, excuse me. I usually don't do videos back to back because I don't need to shave that often. But because that one's mild, I think I might do it. And my third shave now. That'll be my third shave. This is my second one with this thought with the car razor. I think I finally know what I'm doing. I think I finally got it. And now that I see how that angle is, I might even use them. I'm going to load up a little bit more. This is a small knot. It's not no fault of the soap itself. It's just a little itty bitty ass knot. So, And one thing, the one thing I do don't like, I do ugh, damn near hate about iColoniali, the loading surface is tiny as shit. It's not a crime to revisit the puck, guys. Beautiful. The performance. The post shave is fantastic in this. Look at that. Beautiful, creamy lather. Artisans, any of the artisans out there, man, if you could rec recreate iColoniali, man, I'll love you forever. Cool. So, so those of you guys that are interested in getting a, a, a carve razor, uh, do not. Do not, do not, do not give your final judgment on the very first shave. I am somebody with a lot of experience using a lot of different razors. I'm probably able to fight, figure out angles faster than some of you guys. And that's not an arrogance thing. That's just I have a lot of experience with a lot of different razors. I've used damn near. Up until last year, I used almost every razor that was made. That was in production from probably 2013 till 20 all through 2018 up until that point i used them to every razor on the market uh so i have a lot of experience finding angles with new razors very nice i really like that And maybe it could be just dumb luck, because if I didn't find that that angle one I did right now, who knows? This this uh, this this shape could have gone downhill real fast, but no. Wait, you can hear the razor more now. Oh, it's exciting. And yeah, I will be getting the E-plate at some point. 
Well, if any of you guys have a E plate that may be too aggressive for you, you want to trade it for a B or C, I can do that as well. That may work, but I am going to use a C plate still, but I think that E plate may be the sweet spot for me. This one was fantastic. So let me rinse off my face and we'll come back for final thoughts. All right, guys, I am back. I'm going to finish off this shave with Floyd Black. I haven't been using the uh, aftershaves on the videos most of the time. And I was on a phone call with Chris Bailey and um, and uh, the inspector, David Fernicola. And he's like, you need to just use a lot of aftershave, plain and simple. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for him. So David Fernicola, uh, this section uh, of the shave is brought to you by David Fernicola. This is dedicated to David Fernicola. So we're going to just go ham on the Floyd Black. Oh, that's a lot. I'm going to be using some of uh, Zingari Man's Rescue Potion. It, it, I love this shit. I'm going to buy some of that again when I have a little bit more money to be able to do so. I'm going to buy more though. I'm going to buy some of that. Oof. Now, I don't like that it mellows out the damn sting of the alcohol. But what it does do, and it's something that you just kind of have to sacrifice... I like alcohol splashes. I don't care that, that the people have the alcohol, say it's drying. But my favorite uh, aftershave splashes are PAA. Um, not only do they have that sting, but I think they just leave such great conditioning properties on the skin. Some of these mass produced ones, even though they feel nice, they smell nice, and they got the nice burn, they don't have some of those premium ingredients that some of the artists and aftershaves do have. So that rescue potion is something that I definitely want to pair with like um, Aqua Velva. Love the scent of Aqua Velva, but the performance is pretty shitty. It just it, it just is what it is. Um, so that rescue plan how about this? This one right here. Uh some of the other stuff. Uh Matoha aftershave. Uh stuff like that. Some of those basic, just traditional mass-produced ones, they may not have those premium ingredients to give nice skin conditioning. Um, you know, so we'll see. Ah. The Zingari Bomb. I forgot about it. I did forget about it. I'll use this on the next one. Heather, I'm sorry. A little bit more of a delay. I apologize. But I did use your rescue potion. I love this shit. I do love the rescue potion. So, final thoughts on the Card Razor. If you want a premium performing product at a reasonable price, you can't look any, any you don't need to look any further than this. It is fantastic. It is a razor that you're going to have to work at. To, to get better at if you're one of those instant gratification guys it may not be for you because the blade angle is a bit different um even this one still may be a little touch on the mild side for me i may bump up to that e plate um and that's okay they got the options they got the options i love that they have sets where you can get multiple base plates um it's just cool if you're somebody that likes the rockwell 6s which is one of my all-time favorite razors I think you might want to start with the E-plate. This one still feels a little bit more mild than that one is. But I am still going to be using it. But the craftsmanship on this razor is, is top rate. Can't ask for anything more in terms of, the, of, uh, of looks, aesthetics, and execution of it. Everything's fantastic. Um, still may be a little bit on the, on the mild side for me. But I am still going to be working with this. I'm going to be using this razor probably primarily for the next week or so. And for those of you guys that follow the channel, you guys will be seeing those updates. But this one shaves nice. I, as is, the D plate, this will get used. Even if I never get an E plate, this will be used. This will be in rotation. Um, it is it is that good. But I do like a little bit more blade feel. I like a little bit more aggression. Um, and again, I don't need crazy aggression. I don't need those uh, R41 shits. Don't need that. But just a little bit more blade feel is my preference. And I do understand that it's not really meant for blade feel, this design. Uh, so I'm just finding the right balance. But it's beautiful. It is a beautiful razor. Gave me a beautiful shave. And right here are my tricky spots. BBS. I had like a minute... Uh, I'm assuming there really is a Christopher Bradley because I never met Edwin Jagger. Oh, yes, I did, actually. The, the guy, one of those guys. Um, but I never met Mr. Merker or Mr. Dovo or or, or Wade or Butcher. So, um, But Christopher Bradley, uh, Jack, the virtual groom, thank you guys. I appreciate the customer service. I, pre I appreciate how quick you guys uh, dealt with that issue. And I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I can imagine you deal with some real assholes. And, but I just appreciate how quickly you guys did. And I can't wait for this thing to patina. Like, I want to see it just beat up and just used, man. 
Um, really looking forward to it. Look, after one use, you can kind of see patina there. You can get some polishing cloths, even though this is not a polished finish. Some polishing cloths will take off the patina and put it back to normal. Um, but thank you guys. If you're still here to this point of the video, um, just know I appreciate you. Um, Bro Seal's video will be coming this weekend. So you got a couple days to wait. Thank you for your patience on that. Again, we did film it, but it was a little bit of a train wreck. I apologize for that. You know, my fault, my fault. Maybe I should have prepped her a little bit more. It's been a while. So just, you know, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.